Hi, we're in Boca Raton for the GM meetings and today, Mike, the big talk was goaltending equipment and how to make it smaller. And, you know, we've been down this road before, but the big change today, and I think this might actually work, is goaltenders who aren't adhering to the rules are going to get a two-game suspension and a $25,000 fine. And, you know what, maybe this is the thing that scares them. Well, you know what, and Mike, you, uh, off of the excellent piece that you did last week for Post Media on the, on the goaltending equipment, but it was fun listening to uh, goaltending equipment sheriff Kay Whitmore today saying that you know he knows that there are certain guys that the minute he leaves the room they go okay let's put this set of equipment away and bring in the new illegal equipment and uh, you know in this way the goalies have to be accountable and let's face it every everybody tries to cheat we can go back to the days where they had uh, limits on the warp of the wooden sticks on uh, to shoot and guys would pull out sticks in the second or third period, different sticks, with an illegal warp. So they're always trying for an edge, and I think by this way, the league is making goalies accountable. Yeah, and you know what? Uh, if you're not cheating, you're not trying, and yet I, I think if you want to help increase scoring, I don't know if this is necessarily going to be the answer, but at least now we can check it off and say, okay, goaltending's uh, up to par. Uh, guys who are 175 pounds look that size rather than big sumo wrestlers. So, you know what, let's try this out. Let's see what happens. Maybe it'll be a separation where the best goaltenders will be uh, separated from the guys that are basically pretenders and blocking goalies and big pads. But you know, like you said, Kay Whitmore is he's the goalie cop and now he's got a badge to go enforce the law.